Here's how to make looping animations with no keyframing, all in geometry nodes. Take the system here, new geometry node system. To make it super easy, let's just make a bunch of points. So we'll say distribute points on faces, and then we can say uh, instance on points. Points are here, boom. Let's just take this geometry and let's pull the scale down. Let's add a value node, like 0.1. So now we have all these cubes on these faces and let's make it move around. So let's use the set position node. And we have all this point data and we're gonna move them all around. So we'll use a noise texture, we're gonna offset, and then we're going to do a vector math, minus 0.5, keep it centered. And then if we take or D, a W value, we can now animate that with the W, maybe pull the scale down a little bit. And we can also add a scale node back here. Scale, let's say two, let's say five, make it bigger. And we're gonna do a scene time node, frame into here. But the big thing we wanna do is if we know the total length of the animation, let's start it at zero, let's say 120. We can then do a float curve and then we can have it repeat. So if we do this to here, and we do a, a math node and we divide by 120, this is the total length of the animation, we're now gonna have a number going from zero to one that works perfectly with the float curve and we can then change the interpolation in the float curve right here. So then it'll move a lot and we'll kind of stop. And we can also have this go back to where it was and repeat. We change this to be linear right there and it will just kind of move back and forth cycling forever. And if you wanted to make it repeat twice in the same frames. We can then take this fraction, if we did 60, it should do it twice. And if it did 30, it'll do it four times. So the fraction will just keep on repeating it over and over again. But I think 120 looks the best. But using this little setup of nodes right here, this is how you can do a procedural no keyframing animation. Augury.